Hello sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing so so good. If you are new here, hi, hello, and welcome. My name is Olivia and on my channel I like to create all sorts of feel-good content, just plain out good for the soul. So if that interests you, I would love for you to join my YouTube family by hitting that subscribe button down below. But anyways, you guys, I'm very excited for today's video as I will be giving my office a summer refresh as August is right around the corner for me I consider that like the beginning of the year um and I sort of feel like January is the middle of the year I know that's completely flip-flopped but just for me I always feel like I want to get re-inspired in August I want to create a space where it's just organized clean tidy you know what I mean so if you are getting the refreshing, reorganizing bug <laughs> like I am, um, I hope today's video inspires you to do so. But anyways, we will be touching on reorganizing the desk area and I'll be creating this beautiful vignette on this wall. So anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoy today's video and let's get started. Alrighty friends, we are in the office and as you can see, it is a complete wreck. I often find that it's difficult for me to focus on my work or whatever I'm doing if the house is messy. And it is especially so whenever the office is messy. So we will just be giving it a nice little uh organized tidy up session just to get things back where they should be <laughs> um because things have been out of place for far too long and i'll just be sweeping and wiping things down so anyways i will catch up with you guys here in a bit I will be organizing all the goodies on my desk and I have probably far too many pens um but it does make for really cute pops of color on my desk I don't know I just love looking at colorful pens and I also love using them in my planners or notes or to-do lists but I need to find homes for all the different colors so I did organize them um I am I decided I'm going to use this little tray that I found at TJ Maxx or, Hop or Home Goods, I believe, um, earlier this summer. I did have some decor on it, but I'm like, you know what? I should put my office goodies on here. So I'm just putting everything in this little uh, pencil holder caddy and just making it super cute. And right here, I am... Just adding some more goodies and all of my stickers. I love to keep an assortment of stickers just so I can dress up birthday cards or thank you notes, etc. But overall, I want to keep it pretty simple uh, with just my necessary notebooks and planners on the table as well as my laptop. But anyways, we are moving over to the fun portion of today's video as I will be decorating this one side of our wall. So I am just changing up the layering of windows and all sorts of goodies on this buffet. I'm sort of going with a um, green, white, and rose theme. And I am throwing in these burnt uh, red or burnt pink sunflowers from TJ Maxx to add a pop of early fall. And I'm absolutely in love with how it looks. Now I'm just adding some simple touches over here. Now I normally hang a wreath on my large shutter, but I'm hanging some extra prints in these thrifted, um, thrifted picture frames. And I want to add in some more pops of white and also this pop of yellow is really fun. So I'm just adding these floral stems onto this little chair I have over in the corner and I'm in love with how it looks. 
now you guys know I always have to change up my chalkboard every few months, especially for the changing of seasons. But right now, I'm just going to leave it really simple up on there with no writing and I cannot wait to um, change it up for early fall this August. Adding some more goodies down by the front of my desk and fun fact about this desk i found it off of facebook marketplace and the family that i purchased it from uh it's warped a little bit because they had it outside for years and the mother told me how um her and her daughters and uh you know of course the husband they would all dine out there in the summer evenings and i think that that's such a sweet memory and i love I love everything that has a history. Um, so anyways, you guys, I know this is going through really quickly, but we are at the overview right now, and I'm just going to show you all the goodies and all the beautiful vignettes I have in my office, and I hope you guys love how this space looks for the rest of summer. I feel so free, I'm a sweet baby. I hope you enjoyed today's video in commemorating today's video of revamping, reorganizing my office and workspace. I just want to share something with you that I have been reading to just improve my self-development and just to improve my habit making. And that is Atomic Habits by James Clear. It's one of the top selling uh, habit or self-improvement, self-development books on the market. It's, I think it sold over a million copies. I, I got it off of Amazon a couple of months ago and I'm only on chapter six or page 90, but it has been so helpful each and every time I read it, every chapter I read, every page I read, it's like I'm learning something new that I haven't thought of before. I love to engorge myself in all the self-development videos and podcasts and all that stuff but I but trust me <laughs> like this book has so many ideas and perspectives that you would never have thought of before and it is so helpful so in chapter six I was reading this last this last night um last night I was thinking I'm like okay this was Sunday last night <laughs> um or the day before I filmed this I'm thinking, okay, tomorrow's Monday. What am I going to film? Am I going to redo the, decorate the kitchen, decorate the foyer? Like, what am I going to do? But I read this chapter 
And after I read it, I'm like, okay, I am fixing up the office because that is, it's, as you saw in the beginning of today's video, it was an absolute wreck. It needed to be done, but I was just not wanting to do it. Um, but I read this chapter and that obviously changed for me. So I wanna share it with you guys. Chapter six, it's, it is titled, Motivation is Overrated, Environment Often Matters More. And I think we all know that we cannot rely on motivation to get things done. Um, that's something I've really been trying to perfect over the past couple of years. Um, but this was a new perspective that I've never thought about of how environment often matters more. So it goes in to talk about how you should have a specific purpose for a specific spot, room, or place. For example, the kitchen is meant for cooking, or eating, your bedroom is meant for napping, relaxing, and obviously sleeping. The living room is meant for reading, watching TV, movies, you know, talking to your friends or even going on your phone, you know, etc. Um, and obviously, the office is meant for studying or getting work done. But sometimes, um, whenever the office is out of cahoots, it is not organized. I find it a little bit difficult to stay as focused as I can because in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking, oh, I really need to clean. Like I just, I feel like I cannot be uh, my most productive self whenever the house is messy or especially the room that I'm in, if it is messy, for example, the office. But now it is beautiful and organized and I just cannot wait to enjoy it and I feel like I can just get in my work zone much better. I feel like I can just get focused and stay focused now that it is clean and beautiful. And I always like to revamp this wall because it just warms my heart and it just re-inspires my soul and re-inspires my creativity. So I really encourage that. Um, don't just organize your space make it a space full of things that you love and things that inspire you and full of things that make you feel more creative. But it also talks in that chapter that it, even if you feel like it's very difficult to study or get your work done in any room of the house, it also encourages you to go to a park bench or a coffee shop because once you have a specific purpose for a specific place, usually it, el it eliminates more distractions than normal. Um, so I hopefully it, that gave you another perspective of just how important motivation is. Obviously, if you try to study in bed or work in bed, you're gonna get really sleepy. I learned this years ago because um, I, I tried it far too many times. <laughs> but every time I try to study or work in bed, I will always be falling asleep or struggling to stay awake like an hour in and it just completely sort of ruins my day. But anyways, I really hope this video gave you some encouragement to do the same uh, for your own space. I cannot believe that fall is right around the corner. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because if you love the decor in the office right now, you'll love it for its fall time. I'm so excited because this room this room and the living room, they turn into fall and Halloween magical wonderlands, especially this room. I'm very excited. Um, so if you haven't already, def definitely hit that subscribe button. And I have been sharing more of my self-development, personal fitness journey on Instagram. Uh, that's something else that I'm very passionate about and I'm very excited and very happy that I am, as of last week, I'm finally starting to create content and just learn how to make reels and all that stuff. And um, yeah, I will leave my Instagram link down below, but it is the same as my uh, YouTube username, Olivia Effie. So if you wanna get re-inspired to uh, restart your fitness journey, I feel like I'm your gal, so head over to Instagram. Definitely give me a follow over there and hopefully my content on Instagram can inspire you with just that. 
But anyways, I love you all so much. And I just want to thank you all so much for the love, support, and encouragement. Um, I'm really trying to get to everyone's comments. It's taking a little bit longer than normal. But anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic week. And I will see you all on my next video. Bye, guys.